ए हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक माई नेम इज़ बलराम प्रसाद एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अजूर डाटा स्टूडियो नो वॉट इज अजूर डाटा स्टूडियो एंड वॉट वी कैन डू विद डैट सो इफ यू हैव एवर वर्क विद कनेक्टिंग सिक्वेल सर्वर एंड वर्किंग ऑन सिक्वेल सर्वर देर वॉज टूल कॉल सिक्वेल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो सो लेट मी ओपन आई हैव दैट टूल इंस्टॉल and we can go quickly on that tool so if this if you see this tool on my desktop this is the tool where you use to connect up sql server either own on prem sql server or either azure sql server and this is one of the demo server i have in azure where i have created database and we can see all the tables views and uh, all this uh, store block and other things we can see and do all of the things here but this was basically a very old tool and it was built for only windows purpose and there was a lot of new integration has came into picture so microsoft had released another released another tool called azure data studio so let's see that one this is the first thing that if you see this one that it supports on windows mac os and linux all the places and it it has modern editor experience all these things so i'm not going to go in that details let's download that one and let's try to connect with sql server and see how it is looking different on that one so i will click on download and then let's go over there so i'm going for installation Okay, now my installation is finished. Let me launch that tool. And if you see that one, you will see that it looks very similar to a uh, Visual Studio Code if you have seen that one. So I, it gives some options there if you have to create the connection. So let let me see. Let let's try that one. And recent there is nothing. Recent another thing. See, we have some option here for new connection. Another thing, same thing. we can open some files and other things but let me go with new connection first so i have sql server type i sql server type let let me type my i have this sql server connection so let me go with this one so i can go with my sql server Azure SQL database and I have SQL login over there. So let me see what is that username. We can go with username and I have my password. Let me remember password. Let's see that which DB it is load loading. So I have two DB. Let me select this one. One. And let me try to connect that one. so now it is connected it looks like this one that all that search we can do all this pricing tier information is there and we can go and write some new query we can write some new query over there and run whatever depending upon that one if let me see that it should give the intelligence and then we can go and see that one that what is table in other things right so software is demo db dot db and then we have the schema and then we have tables right we have tables like we have this mobi table for demo purpose so you see this is the mobi information that okay this is the mobi title and budget what was that this is imdb database for mobi's collection so this is what is there for demo so this is how it looks like and if we have to write some notebooks based on notebook experience this was this old sql server management view right if you go and write some query over there in this place we can write some query over there right we can write the same query in here and we can see that same data so let me see we do not have to do all this and this this yeah so this all we can we can this would this would also work yeah so uh, this is what we have here same thing over there also we can see similar experience additional thing is there that you can have write notebook experience based on that one right so if we, if you want to write something based on notebook and this is the uh, sql thing right sql thing and right we can write and run this notebook run sales we can do 
right it will going to come we can write similar whatever notebook if you have work on notebook sales there are two sales test books and notebooks we can write something that this is this is going to markup language where we can write documentation this is select right this is this is we can write so that other people can read if we share this one so this is what it looks like based on this one and there are multiple things if you want to connect with this one with pi spark python powershell whatever that you can select and run that one but in older days we have only this is for only sql server so this is now becoming more supported with lot of different functions lot of different things so that is one thing, good thing also we can do and uh, uh, this source this tool uh, was not uh, integrated with any source control system right we used to run this one but there was no integration of source control system but if you go here you will see that on there is a source control system either you can connect with azure devops either you can connect with gitlab github all this um, you can go ahead and connect with this one apart from that one there is a lot of extension which we can do that um, install and do that one with this tool but that extension place was not here in that old tool so this is great place where we can go and connect with this one and not only sql server not only azure sql we can have postgre we can have mysql all this we can run from here itself so we do not have to go and manage all the place if we and this is the management place where we have all the connection but in here if you have to manage every everything you have to go back and then add itself from here nothing was there that you can see all the connection and click on that different connection and go and run that one right so that is one enhance this is a great tools for that one and uh, we can see that how we can use that one right it is very good tool which uh, if you are working on that different uh, os also you can work on that one so this is what the small tool i wanted to show you thank you